Mundial Games ends as the top scorer as we see Patrice Motsepe, the Confederation of African Football President. The gentleman behind him in the hat, Augustin Senghor, the president of the Senegalese Football Federation, sporting a big smile. That's Samson Adamu on the left of your screen, the competition's director for African football's governing body, CAF. It is not too hot today, so nice opportunity for a suit. And not Sepe, the South African, will, of course, be handing out the awards to the players as well as the trophy. Mohamed El Sayed, the Egyptian goalkeeper, being named the tournament's best. I'm not entirely sure here to be my choice. Yours? Yeah, I, I think um, it is um, obviously not my choice, uh, but uh, um, the team came for um, third in the tournament and um, they're trying as much as possible to make the, make the goalkeeper because um, he did well in the, in the, in the match. Uh, unfortunately, they lost. That might have even been the Moroccan goalkeeper. Jay the Ghanaian still here. 11 goals in four games, three hat-tricks against the likes of Egypt. He got three. Mozambique years ago. Alexander Ajay, he came into the tournament not fully fit either. So what a display from that man. Has also gone to an Egyptian. Congratulations to Egypt for their performance as the Egyptian as the fair play winners a key component and now the best player of the 2024 Beach Soccer Africa Cup of Nations Ninu Jatta a regular on the pitch and look how popular he is with his teammates and this is a fully deserved trophy for a man who's been immense he scored an absolutely stunning goal a super technical volley against Egypt, the host nation, in the semi-finals. He was man of the match against Mozambique with a brace against them in the group stages. And he scored Senegal's third of their six against Mauritania in the final. And he kept the live wire danger man, Sheikh Belkir. I say man, he's really a boy. He's 19 years of age, but he just couldn't find a way past this man who uh, can defend and score. Terrific player and uh, a worthy recipient of the award as the uh, match officials come up to get their medals and mementos. Thankfully, no controversy or incidents whatsoever in the final of the Nations Cup. Out of the 18 games of the tournament, only one had any real needle and, and, and bad blood, as it were, and that the clash between Morocco and Ghana in Group A. It was a fairly unseemly affair. We're just seeing Angela Silla waving to people behind us and all around us, and my commentating colleague in French, Abu Bakri. But the Senegalese as well. Happy days for the Taranga Lions. As Morocco come up to take their bronze medals for the third Beach Soccer AFCON in a row. Gilberto da Costa de Souza. He's got a World Cup winner's medal at home. And he's now got a bronze from Africa's premier beach soccer event to go with it. I suspect he'll treasure <laughs> the global award more than that. Your thoughts on Morocco, Abu Aziz? Yeah, they did so well because um, in, um, um, in, the, in, in various third places, would have thought this before the competition began that Mauritania making their beach soccer Nations Cup bow would have thought this before the competition began in third place there you go there they are on your screens some uh, terrific performance in there Reda Zarawi Driss Gana goals but a step too far in the end but still an incredible achievement. Their coach called Senegal the definitive benchmark for African beach soccer before the tournament. And unfortunately for him, his words have been proven correct today. 6-1, they were convincingly, comprehensively beaten by their neighbours. But it's been an incredible display. The first time they ever even tried to qualify, they knocked out 
the two-time Kings of Africa in the shape of Nigeria. They knocked out Morocco, who've invested a lot of money, as said, brought in a World Cup winning coach from Brazil, no less, to try to get to the final of this competition. And they beat Senegal, the defending champions, in their opening game. They can be immensely proud of themselves and possibly most importantly of all, given their lack of the trophy, they are on their way to the Beach Soccer World Cup in May in the Seychelles. We'll see more of Mauritania in future. We've seen a lot of this team in the past. Raul Mendy coming up limping, as you can see. We said he was uh, injured before the game. Nice to see him leading his side, Mamour Jan. You've got two in the final filming. The selfies that I'm sure we may see on uh, social media later at one end. Gajaga at the other. And celebrations all round for Senegal as their federation president in the cap has said. Augustin Senghor celebrates with his players. They are simply the dominant force on the continent. Who do you see dethroning them in future, if anyone? But it's got to be somebody one day. Yeah, I think um, that might also be um, the same Mauritanian team or, or, the, uh, or the Moroccan team. I think um, they came so, so close to defeating Senegal. And um, if they just um, build from the positives um, they've seen, um, they are, uh, from what I have seen um, in the Senegalese side, um, they also have um, loopholes. And um, those, the, loop, the loopholes they have um, is um, to see them um, de lo lose against um, the Mauritanian side in the first group game. And um, this is what uh, more teams just need to look at um, when you try to defeat them in their next uh, match or, or next tournament. Well, Alseni Unjai, who will be lifting that trophy, surely giving a kiss to the new trophy, the new award designed for this year's finals, a mixture of uh, sea and sand. They are an immovable force in beach soccer on the continent. Their fifth straight title to add to those in 2016, 2018, 2021 and 2022 and now 2024. And they are celebrating as well in their own inimitable style. Fantastic stuff from Senegal. Mamo Jan, two goals in the final. 6-1, they took it against the debutants, Mauritania. What a display it's been. And a final word from you, Abu Aziz, your thoughts on what has been a terrific 2024 Beach Soccer AFCON. Yeah, it's been a massive tournament. Um, the setup from the beginning to the end has been so, so good. Um, Ogada has been a massive place um, to organize um, this tournament. Egypt has been so welcoming and um, the participants so far, they've done so, so well and um, well-deserved victory for the Senegalese side and for the uh, Mauritanian side. They've been um, so, um, so amazing. Um, they showed the award that um, it is not about how many times you participate at um, a, a major tournament, but it is about how prepared you are. So I'm so impressed um, with the two African countries that has qualified to represent Africa at the Mondial in Seychelles next year. Um, they just need to start uh, um, everything possible to start that preparation to be able to represent us well at the Mondial. Well, thank you very much, Abu Aziz, the former Nigeria international. It's been an absolute pleasure to share these commentaries with you. Thank you. Congratulations, Senegal. A reminder that Morocco have taken third place at this event. Mauritania finished second. The top scorer, Alexander Ajay of Ghana. The best player, Nino Jatta of Senegal. African champions for the fifth Beach Soccer AFCON in a row. Congratulations to them. Goodbye from Hergada as Patrice Motsepe, the Confederation of African Football President, gives his thoughts on this tournament.